Welcome to the Student Accounts Office at SUNY Cortland. Student Accounts is here to assist you with understanding the billing and payment process as you prepare your college career. Billing. Electronic billing is SUNY Cortland's official method of billing. Paper bills will not be sent. The student will receive an email to the cortland.edu email account with notification that the bill is available to view on My Red Dragon. We will also send a postcard to the student's permanent home address when the initial bill for the semester is available. The spring semester is billed early January with payment due by January 21st. Students can access and print a copy of their bill via their Myra Dragon account. Students can also use their Myra Dragon account to set up an authorized payer, which gives parents or others access to the bill. For instructions setting up an authorized payer, please review the how-to guides on the student accounts website. Let's take a look at a sample bill. The center box shows the billing due date. The upper right provides details regarding residency, student status, and credit hours billed. The transaction detail provides a description of transactions on the bill. In this example, current term charges includes tuition, which is the cost of the spring semester courses, meal plan for one semester, housing for one semester, and mandatory fees. Fees cover the cost of certain services on campus. For example, program service charge and course fee you see listed includes the mandatory health fee. The fee is not an insurance charge, but a fee that funds services at the Student Health Office and Counseling Center. Charges and Adjustments column shows amount due for each item billed. The Payments and Credits column shows any payments made to the account. The Anticipated Financial Aid column shows any financial aid that is pending but has not yet paid the account. And finally, the remaining balance labeled as current term balance is the amount that would need to be paid out of pocket. If you applied for financial aid and completed all unsatisfied requirements, anticipated financial aid will appear as a credit in the last column. If you expect to receive financial aid and do not see it listed on the bill, please contact the financial aid office. Payments for spring bills are due January 21st. The out-of-pocket amount can be paid in full, or families can sign up for a payment plan, which splits the bill into four equal installments. For details on the monthly payment plan, please review the office's how-to guides on our website. The Student Accounts Office offers several billing options, online, by mail, or in person. Electronic payments can be made securely through the Quick Pay option, which is accessible through the student's Myra Dragon account. Quick Pay accepts major credit cards, or you can initiate an electronic debit from your checking or savings account. If you are planning on using a 529 college savings plan to make a payment, please contact your plan administrator for details and processing time to ensure payment is received by the billing due date. If you wish to pay by mail, you can send a personal check through the student accounts office. Please note, credit card information is not accepted by phone or by mail. In addition to paying the semester bill on time, students are also required to confirm attendance each semester. Failure to confirm attendance by the billing due date may result in the student being removed from their classes. Students confirm attendance each semester through the student account section of My Red Dragon. For detailed instructions on how to confirm attendance and to make payments, please visit the how-to guides on our website. Did you know that student billing information is protected by FERPA? FERPA is the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act that protects the privacy of student education records, including the student's billing information. This means billing information can't be released to anyone but the student without the student's written permission. In order for the student's financial account information to be released to a parent, the student must complete the student account's FERPA form. This form is available online and needs to be signed by the student and must either be notarized or signed in the presence of a staff member of the student accounts office. For your convenience, we collect these forms at all in-person orientation events. For more information on FERPA, please contact the student accounts office.